Hi everyone and welcome to Quicksand Solutions training video for Dynamics 365 Business Central. Today we will learn how to set up additional price lists specific to the jobs module. Okay, so before we get started, the first thing we need to do is just check in feature management to make sure that the new pricing experience has been enabled for this system. And if we look here, new sales pricing experience, it is enabled for all users. So that's perfect. Now we can get started. Okay, so now that we have confirmed that the new pricing experience is enabled for this system, we're now going to go and create a new price list for a job. So there are several ways to get to this. You can put in, you can search sales job price and you can see here that you can select the sales job price list you can also enter job and go to the list job list and from here navigate and select sales price list as well if you want to just go into a specific job you can select prices and discounts and sales price list. For this example, we're just going to go navigate and sales price list. And we are going to select new. So for the code, this can be bypassed. It'll default with the next available price list number. So if we hit tab and then we can select a description, we'll just put in test pricing. Uh, assigned to, you have the option to apply to all jobs, a specific job, or a specific job task. So we're just going to select job. Assigned to number, this is based on above. So because I selected job, I will then select a specific job number, which we'll look at the reception area remodel. So on the line level, you can choose the product type that you want to assign pricing to. So this includes item, item discount group, resource, resource group, service cost, and GL account. We'll look at resource group a little later. Right now we're going to select resource and our resource name We'll give that to Catherine. So this, this is based on a unit of measure per hour. You can enter a minimum quantity. You can here just put in your specific pricing per hour. We can also add an item. Let's say a specific item is going to be a desk. So our unit of measure is pieces. They have to order a minimum quantity of two and they will get them at $250 a piece. So once that is all entered and you're happy with your price list, all the fields are populated with, what, with your desired results, you're going to need to change the status of the price list from draft to active. Do you want to update status to active? Yes, we do. And that's it, this is saved. You can back out of your price list and you'll see it listed here. Test pricing, we confirm that it's active. So now any invoicing out of that job, any resources that are under Catherine's name will be charged out at $100 an hour. And any desks, when they buy two or more, will be at $250 a piece. So you can back out of here. So now that our price list is all set up and active, 
let's go into the job and we'll add some lines to the job planning lines. We'll start, uh, select decorations and furnishings and then line, job, job planning lines. So if we add a line here, we'll change, change it to, let's change it to billable. And then we'll just change our type to resource. We have Catherine who has the special pricing as our resource. We'll add a quantity of two hours. So you can see that her regular hours or regular cost is $127.60. We're going to bill this out at $100 an hour. Let's add that item as well, which was the desk. And if they ordered two or more, they would get that at a special rate also. So you can see that's come through at the $250 per unit that we set up. And this pricing is just for visibility. So you can see how it will automatically pull onto the lines. That brings us to the end of our video on setting up additional price lists specific to the jobs module. If you'd like to learn more, visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos on Dynamics 365 Business Central. You can also visit us at quicksand.com for more resources and articles around Business Central. Thanks for watching.